this is my little video on uh, fun and games with uh, German luxury cars part 10. Uh, let me show you a problem I'm having. So, start up the car and uh, drive it like this and then <laughs> the tape there is for the uh, airbag light. Reverse it, put it on a hard lock. Oh man! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh la 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 la. See that? So imagine you're going down the Eisen, going down from the Eisenhower Tunnel towards uh, Silverthorn, Silverton, sorry. No, Silverthorn. Um, and that, and this happens. Your passengers might be a little worried as, as to what's going on, especially if you have to go over Rabbit Ears Pass. So, uh, um, let me just put the car back in to drive here. Sorry, into park. Turn it off. And you turn the car back on again, and the fault is cleared, which shows you that it's some type of intermittent fault. So, let's just turn this engine off. Um, the first thing when you go on the news groups, this is a 99D2A8. The first thing that happens when you go on the news groups is you hear the uh, faulty ABS unit, and um, you can read. I'll, I'll give you a link to this um, little piece on the faulty ABS unit and that's like $1,500 and it's a common thing and if you look at the circuit board, I'll throw a picture of the circuit board in here, you'll see the circuit board is something from like a 1968 you know, space mission circuit board, it's just this kind of esoteric weird circuit board thing. So in my case I was ready to pull my ABS computer out, send it off to the guy, uh, luckily enough there's a fantastic guy in Florida who replaces these things for about, what did he say, I think it's $99 and he'll do a full repair on the ABS unit. And I was happy to pay $99 um, and send it off, but before I did that, um, there's a couple other things you want to check. Okay, we're back. So I showed you the symptoms of what's happening, um, turning the wheel in my case, turning it to the right, which makes my front wheels obviously turn, um, is causing me to have this fault. So either it's going to be, um, it's either going to be a computer, which don't worry, it's only 99 bucks to fix, you've got to take it out. It's going to either be the cables between the ABS computer and the sensors, or it's going to be the sensor. So I started out by trying to take the sensors out, the ABS sensors, I guess, on... Uh, how do fans is at one of those websites? Um, <clears throat> the guy has instructions on how to take them out. They're meant to pop out. Mine are rusted in, so forget about it. I'm not going to get them out. Hope to God it's not a sensor. Um, the one thing I wanted to to test then was the cables. Now, how you do that, or how I inadvertently discovered how you do that, is by turning the wheel fully locked to the left. Your wheels to the left and your wheels to the right. In my case, turning my wheel to the right compressed the left cable and um, expanded out, stretched the right cable. Um, so it turned out that stretching the right cable um, made the cable fail, as in there's a, probably a little wire that's kind of connected just connected and stretching it out just moves the contacts away in, in that the, the strands apart and that's the so that's the fault so it's the cable so i knew the problem was on the um, right hand side of my car so in the picture i disconnected the little grommets for the abs wire and i drove around the block and lo and behold no more abs light blinking beeping flashing lights brake lights, ABS lights, everything was fine. So that means turning the wheel actually stretched that wire out so there was indeed a short in that wire somewhere. So you might say, okay, where's the brake in the cable? 
Well, if you look at it logically, um, and also thanks to Audi fans again, um, this guy is fantastic, and I um, can't thank this guy enough. Um, you are going to ha- the the brake is um, probably going to be near where the wire flexes the most. So um, I cut the wire right by the ABS sensor, and then right before the third grommet, and you'll see where I cut it right now. So in true uh, DIY spirit, uh, I'm going to cut this wire now, and I cut it off right over here, and as you can see, whoop, uh, and basically, just, okay, I'm zooming, that's why, so I cut it off. And here it is. Here's the wire. And if we get a multi multimeter, just to confirm that we've cut off the piece that's shorting out, if we get a multimeter with uh, resistance on here, and just to show you I wasn't lying, so here's the black conductor that's shorted out that, that is has the break in it. So if I pull this apart, you'll see, um, and I'm holding it tight on the end, you'll see that somewhere in here is the break anyway. Using a extension cord, and you can see it's one of these two core, as far as being heat proof or this other proof, um, I don't know, but if you go back over here, and see, as per our buddy, um, we, we've soldered, uh, solid wires are always better. You know what they were saying, they used, soldering was designed to, by the space program, I believe. So these things aren't going to come undone anytime soon. Um, but there you have it. Heat shrink over here. And then... A bigger piece of heat shrink and that that should be uh, we should be done so there you have it folks um, you can patch yourself on the back you just saved yourself 250 buckaroosies because that's what it would cost to buy the wire from Audi of course because you know we know how the dealers are um, in my case I was prepared to pull the ABS unit but luckily um, literally last night I was like okay I should probably check this thing out like a good little amateur mechanic and I'm glad that I did not that I would have been mad if I'd spent $99 um, so first of all go and check out Audi Pages man this guy rocks AudiPages.com and you can look at I don't have the URL but go and look at his A8 ABS troubleshooting guide he has all the uh, photos and everything Paul Waterloo is the gentleman's name and he is truly a gentleman an officer and a gentleman because he saved me countless money. Secondly, if you try messing around with the wires um, and cleaning your ABS sensors, which is the first thing you want to do before you pull the ABS unit, if you tried that and you're still getting these errors, then go over to the website cheap-abs.com. You see the uh, screenshot on the screen video screen and speak to uh, another officer and a gentleman Matt I presume he's a um, I haven't had any direct dealings with him but he I sent him an email and he said it takes one business day plus return shipping for my car it would be $110 for the return shipping I think it's $99 plus the return shipping so $110 so go over to cheapabs.com and send him your unit and basically that's all it can be I believe it's either going to be the cable the sensors or the or the computer he even has reconditioned computers so if you fry your computer I don't know if you even tried to re- repair it but if you did fry your computer then you can actually get a um, an AB whole ABS unit from him the ABS units themselves, I believe, are $1,500. I could be wrong. Maybe they're cheaper plus labor. So if you get your ABS unit from him, you can pat yourself on the back even more because you saved yourself $1,000 plus. So there you have it. Um, one last thing on the wire I used. You might want to use some heat-resistant wire. This is just what I had lying around. I'm pretty handy with the soldering iron, so I just threw it on. If my ABS goes out again, or should I say that the... Um, if that wire kind of melts into a ball of flames, I know exactly where it is. So 
there you have it, folks. Thanks for listening to another long-winded, convoluted Jakarta Productions production of Amateur Mechanics with the Audi A8 D2.